well-developed conceptions of flourishing will vary across traditions. What I would argue is that however flourishing is understood, any reasonable conception of flourishing would include the following five domains of human life. Not that flourishing is reducible uh, to these five, but each is a part of it. These five are happiness and life satisfaction, physical and mental health, meaning and purpose, character and virtue, and close social relationships. Again, I would not argue that these exhaust flourishing, but each is a part of it. I think each of these domains also satisfies the following two criteria. Each is nearly universally desired, and we have some empirical data on this as well. Um, and each is an end in and of itself. It's sought for its own sake. It's not merely a means to some other end. And I think these two criteria, being nearly universally desired and being an end, might help shape consensus around what to measure.